All right, hey guys, welcome again to Fire Alarms and Such. And today we are going to be putting a supervisory into my Simplex 4010 Fire Alarm Control Panel, along with showing, showing you a couple of changes I made to my door holder system. So first off, you know, here's the button. You push it, it lets the door come off the wall. Same door holder. But if you notice now, there's a device address above it. I wonder what that could mean. If we come back around here, you'll see now, pardon the wiring there, I had to, you know, change some stuff and there's some excess wire. There are now two boxes on the wall. This box says door holder system disconnect. It is a tamper, uh, tamper resistant light switch and you turn it one way and it supplies the power from the panel into the door holding system. So the button, the door holder, all that. And then if you turn it off, it disconnects the auxiliary power from the panel to the door holder system. Now you may be asking, why not just unscrew it from the panel? Well, that's not a possibility anymore. Um, I'm going to leave it at that. So there's now a disconnect here. In here, there's a wire that goes in and a wire that comes out. In here, there is a simplex addressable module in there, and that is point 10. And again, that goes into where the button is. That point comes all the way across through the ceiling, all the way down into my box and into the box. So you may be wondering how and why. Well, this button is now wired up as a supervisory switch. The way that this button works is it has two channels that can go through it. There's channel one, which has a common, a normally closed, and a normally open. And then channel two, which has a common, a normally open, and a normally closed. Channel one is what the door holder is running on. Channel one is using the common and the normally closed. So that means the current is constantly flowing to the door. Channel two is what is running my supervisory, and that is wired up through my common and my normally open. So it's wired up like a pull station. So this is it in normal position, you know, and then if you push it, it brings it to abnormal position. It switches to normally closed and normally open. The once normally closed circuit becomes open, power removed from the door handle, door holder, excuse me, door drops. Normally open becomes normally closed. A short goes into the module. I know a short sounds bad, but that's actually what happens. And the module sees it as a closed circuit. It tells the panel, hey, I have a closed circuit over here. The panel sees that and goes, oh, that's a supervisory. Why is it a supervisory? Because I told it to be, because there's no supervisory on this panel. So real quick into supervisory, uh, there are two different kinds. There's regular supervisory and then latching supervisory. A latching supervisory means that when it goes into supervisory, the panel is going to stay in supervisory, regardless of if this is reset. You have to actually go in and reset the panel. A regular supervisory is if you put something in supervisory, the panel will go into supervisory, but as soon as you correct the point, the panel will reset on its own. Just like with the key switch over here. If I turn it to test, it puts a supervisory in the panel, but as soon as I turn it away from test, the panel goes back to normal without having me touch it. So. I've been talking a lot. Let's actually put a supervisory in the panel. So I have the panel door open over there. I push this, the door is going to close, the panel is going to go to the supervisory. So let's do it. Door closes. And there is now a supervisory in the panel. So we're going to silence the supervisory. And then we can come over, reset the point, open the door back up, and the supervisor is clear. And just to show you what I really mean, I'll let you listen to it as I correct the supervisory. So if I push it, panel goes into supervisory, door drops, I'm just holding it with my foot you hear the panel tone going, but as soon as I reset it, you'll hear the panel tone go off. Panel tone turns off and everything's back to normal and the door can go back up. So that's what I did this weekend. I got bored and was like, you know what? We're going to make this button 
be a supervisory. So if someone is like, hey, I need this door shut, and they come up and go, I don't know. And yeah, I don't know. Why not? I guess. So I don't know. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, have a wonderful day.